things are not getting any better here. We need a couple of back-to-back -back wins very soon. Let's go to the video. Hello and welcome back to Rodney Parade Newport. And uh, we have made um, a decision based on personal reasons um, that we are going to dedicate this channel to raising funds for heart research. Um, and more details and a video will follow on what we plan to do and the reasons why I'm planning to do it. Um, but if you are new here, for now just click that subscribe button and hit the bell and follow us and join in the fun and commotion here as we attempt to take Newport into pastures unknown. Um, however, if you have been following along with us, you'll know that we are in desperate trouble at the moment and um, things have not been looking very pretty for us. Um, we are currently in 16th place just hovering above the relegation zone and we have become somewhat of draw specialists um, and we really like uh, have so many draws this season it, it defies belief um, but squad morale is actually not bad given that we've hardly won a match this year um, and you can see there's a lot of green about there's a lot of yellow and some green in terms of squad morale but generally happiness is okay um, and we've done we've used a lot of things team meetings we've used all sorts of things to try and uh, raise morale and it seems to be working out okay um, in terms of what has happened since you were last here, um, when you were last here, we, well, we decided in the end to come back for the Swansea game, a local derby again, and we thought that looked, rather than Blackpool, which we seem to feature a lot, we'd do the Swansea match. Um, after the Portsmouth game you saw, we drew nil-nil at Preston, and then Millwall beat us at home by two goals to one. I um, had an away trip to Barnsley where we had another draw, a 1-1 draw, and um, so we will come to Swansea and hope that we can put another green dot in there and find some form and get a victory. Um, I really, really would love that. Um, at the moment, we are lounging around in 16th place. We are still 12 points clear of the relegation. Um, zone but there is a lot of football to be played and despite our bad results the teams below us don't really seem that interested in climbing above us which is good news for us personally I think relegation would be a good idea for Newport because um, it's simply it's simply impossible to manage um, this um, team in the championship given the the budget is so low compared to the other sides in the um, in the league. It's very, very difficult to maintain. But the board are very happy, of course. Um, very pleased that we're fighting bravely against um, relegation. And we passed our other assignments. Um, they're also saying that we are on course in terms of the wage budget. And yes, we have got that down after the transfer window. And we're about £1,400 under the wage budget now, which does mean that it is possible that we could um, extend either Pask or Livermore's contract before the season's out and fulfil at least one of those promises. Um, so in terms of the dynamics itself, um, we have four unhappy players at the club. <laughs> Not a big deal given what's been going on. And um, we have a couple of players who are wanting more playing time. Um, but if we look at the promises that we have made, um, we failed only one. That was Woodwise, who um, I did my best to loan him out, but unfortunately nobody was interested in having him there. So that failed. The others are on course. 
The two at the bottom are Nair and Livermore and Josh Pask. I don't know if we're going to be able to help both of those. Or we might end up selling one of them. Who knows? Um, this is a, a week is a long time in this game, let alone by the end of the season. So we'll have to see um, how that pans out. And so in this game today, we are facing Swansea at home. We really, really, really need to get a couple of victories back to back. And that will help me feel a lot less nervous um, because we are hovering around that um, drop relegation zone. And if we can get a couple of back-to-back -back victories, that will help things a great deal. We've decided to go more attacking. We have Day in goal, De Haney, Amanqua, Pask and Haynes at the back. In midfield, we are playing East, Sweeney, Livermore and Lakin. And up front... We are playing Collins and McNeil, and this gives us an opportunity to rest Timmy Abraham today. We do need something here today. We're playing more attacking, not a lot more, but we're going to go for a more balanced rather than a cautious approach. I want to try something different, see if we can get something out of these games. We've got to where we are, being very defensive, and um, it's worked to that degree, but I want to just try something now, um, something a little bit different. So we're going to try and press forward a little bit more than we have been doing. Step by step, as they say. And so the game's underway, and immediately it looks like Swansea are on the front foot. And yeah, they are dominating possession. They're getting shots on goal, but not on target. Um, they've had six shots, none of them have been on target, so that's pretty good. Um, and their shooting, yeah, is not great. But they are dominating the match, both possession-wise. We haven't had a shot at all during the game, and something needs to be done. But Swansea have a corner, and that's swung in, and it's Cooper who feeds it to Dobson. Dobson with a long-range effort. And it is Newport nil, Swansea 1, and it's the worst possible thing um, that could happen. And what I do know is that we, we need to get some possession here. You, you can't win football matches without having the ball. That was a great strike. There's nothing that the goalkeeper could have done about that. Nothing wrong. And VAR having it. What am I supposed to do with that VAR shot? <laughs> I can't tell anything from that, but a good effort by football manager to explain the decision. We're going to actually lift the line up and, and go for a shorter passing game, just a little subtle change, um, to see if that will help. But at half time, it's Newport nil, Swansea 1. And we just go tell them that you're capable of doing a lot better. We're going to pass it shorter lower the tempo and try to get more possession and see what happens. And we have our first corner. And here is East swinging in the corner. Manqua, a Manqua with our first attack has scored. A simple near post header. And we are 1-1. And I really don't understand this game at all. And... Well, yeah, it was a simple near post header, poor marking in the Swansea defence. And uh, maybe we've just found the solution to our problem. Maybe we are a better passing team than I've given them credit for. Uh, and now we have a free kick, and that's passed into a Mangua. And he passes it all the way back to the halfway line. East finds Sweeney, who finds Lakin. Lakin swings the ball in, and McNeil, and he should have done better than that. That was an opportunity, and I'm afraid that I'm not too happy about that finish. Um, going to make some changes. Going to bring on Hackney and Lewis, and Timmy Abraham is going to come on for Collins. Um, we, uh, yeah, we're in the game now, and um, please don't give the ball away <laughs> around there. Um, I know what happens when you guys do that. But here's a Manqua, and he finds East. East over to Lakin. 
And this shorter passing game might be the secret as we go into the run-in. And we'll try it out in the next game. Here's Lewis, and that cross is easily clear. And Swansea pick up the ball. And they, they are coming forward now. And can they get a cross into the box? It's end-to-end -end stuff here at Rodney Parade. It's punched out by day. Swansea still have the ball. They're still on the attack. And it's out to K on the left. And that's a speculative cross. And Day had to tip that over the bar. It nearly dipped under the bar, fooling the goalkeeper. But that would have been a cruel way to lose the game. And here's, here's the corner for Swansea. And that's headed away. And that shot goes up to Rosehead in the stand behind the goal. So... We, we've done well in the second half. We're getting a little bit more possession. We're getting shots on target. And here's a free kick from Lewis and Pask at the far post. Another opportunity. But I don't think it's going to be. But it might have shown me what I've been doing wrong all season. And the final score is Newport 1, Swansea 1. And we can, we can be fairly happy with that because we are still now in 16th place. And the teams below us have not done particularly well. Um, it means that we are still 12 points clear of the relegation zone of Wigan. Um, Portsmouth and Luton drew 0-0. That was a good result. Reading were beaten by Queen's Park Rangers. That was also a great result. Um, Preston lost at Sheffield United, so they're being dragged nearer the bottom. Birmingham lost at Stoke, Millwall lost to West Brom, and Wigan drew at home to Ipswich. So none of the bottom teams have been able to take advantage of yet another slipper that we've made. And so we can be quite happy with how things are going at the moment. We do really need, though, to find two back-to-back -back wins, and that would make sure that we are clear of the relegation zone and that fight that's coming up and so if we look at the fixtures um coming up i think what we will do is we'll play through now it's not this is not going to change i don't think and we're going to play through until the reading match um and then we would be going to be in a position to know where we are and how things are looking um at the end of the season so that's it for this video if you enjoyed the video then give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, click the bell, and support us as we're going to go into a new era of trying to raise money um, for heart research. More information on that will follow. But all that remains to be said for now is see you in the next episode at Reading.